Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate this Mass in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary, as we welcome today to the Manila Cathedral the image of Our Lady of Guadalupe from the National Shrine of Our Lady of Guadalupe in Makati City. As she visits the Manila Cathedral and as we venerate the image of our mother, let us pray that we may be able to imitate her in her humility, simplicity, obedience, and total trust in the will of God. Let us now call to mind our sins and beg the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, Father of mercies, who placed your people under the singular protection of your Son's most holy mother, grant that all who invoke the Blessed Virgin of Guadalupe may seek with ever more lively faith the progress of peoples in the ways of justice and of peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first book of Samuel. During the time, young Samuel was minister to the Lord under Eli. A revelation of the Lord was uncommon and vision infrequent. One day, Eli was asleep in his usual place. His eyes had lately grown so weak that he could not see. The lamp of God was not yet extinguished, and Samuel was sleeping in the temple of the Lord where the ark of God was. The Lord called Samuel, who answered, Here I am. Samuel ran to Eli and said, Here I am. You called me. I did not call you, Eli said. Go back to sleep. So he went back to sleep. Again the Lord called Samuel, who rose and went to Eli. Here I am, he said. You called me. But Eli answered, I did not call you, my son. Go back to sleep. At that time, Samuel was not familiar with the Lord, because the Lord did not reveal anything to him as yet. The Lord called Samuel again for the third time. Getting up and going to Eli, he said, Here I am, you called me. Then Eli understood that the Lord was calling the youth. So Eli said to Samuel, Go to sleep, and if you are called, reply, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. When Samuel went to sleep in his place, the Lord came and revealed his presence, calling out as before, Samuel, Samuel. Samuel answered, Speak, for your servant is listening. Samuel grew up, and the Lord was with him, not permitting any word of his to be without effect. Thus all Israel, from Dan to Beersheba, came to know that Samuel was an accredited prophet of the Lord. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Here am I, Lord. I come to do your will. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. I have waited, waited for the Lord, and he stooped toward me and heard me cry. Blessed the man who makes the Lord his trust, who turns not to idolatry or to those who stray after falsehood. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. Sacrifice or oblation you wish not, but ears open to obedience you gave me. Burnt offerings or sin offerings you sought not. Then said I, Behold, I come. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. In the written scroll it is prescribed for me. To do your will, O my God, is my delight, and your law is within my heart. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. I announced your justice in the vast assembly. I did not restrain my lips, as you, O Lord, know. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. Please stand. Our spirit and life, you have the words of everlasting life. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. On leaving the synagogue, 
Jesus entered the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. Simon's mother-in-law lay sick with a fever. They immediately told him about her. He approached, grasped her hand, and helped her up. Then the fever left her, and she waited on them. When it was evening after sunset, they brought to him all who were ill or possessed by demons. The whole town was gathered at the door. He cured many who were sick with various diseases, and he drove out many demons, not permitting them to speak because they knew him. Rising very early before dawn, he left and went off to a deserted place where he prayed. Simon and those who were with him pursued him, and on finding him said, Everyone is looking for you. He told them, Let us go on to the nearby villages, that I may preach there also. For this purpose have I come. So he went into their synagogues, preaching and driving out demons throughout the whole of Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, today's first reading is about the call of the young boy Samuel. Remember that Samuel was the son given by God to Hannah. The past days, we have been hearing about the story of Hannah and how she was so sad because she did not have a son. And in yesterday's first reading, Hannah begged God to remember her and to give her a son. And the Lord remembered Hannah. The Lord granted the request of Hannah. She was given a son. Samuel. But the promise of Hannah to God was this, if you will give me a son, I will offer him for the service of your temple. Ibigay mo sa akin ng hinihingi ko, pero hindi ko to sasarilinin. Iaalay ko siya sa iyo. And so God gave Hannah a son, and true to her promise, Hannah offered the young Samuel to the temple of the Lord. And in our first reading today, we heard that Samuel was serving the temple, the prophet, the priest, Eli. And later on, we will see how Samuel will play an important role in the history of Israel. It will be Samuel who will see the transition from being ruled by judges to being ruled by kings. It will be Samuel who will anoint the first king of Israel Saul, and it will be Samuel who will anoint the successor of Saul, the great King David. So important was Samuel that it was said that when Samuel speaks, all Israel, from the king to the lowest citizen, listen. And this is because the first lesson that Samuel learned 
in being a prophet, in speaking God's word, is to listen to God. All Israel listened to Samuel because Samuel listened first to God. That is why in our first reading today, as God called the young Samuel, the young Samuel learned to tell God, Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. Samuel spoke God's word effectively and powerfully because he listened first to God. This is also something that we see in Jesus in our gospel today. Jesus did so many things. He healed the sick. He drove out demons from those possessed by them. He went from one village to another in order to proclaim God's word. It was a very hectic and busy day for Jesus. But despite the many things that Jesus did, our gospel today tells us that rising early before dawn, Jesus went off to a deserted place in order to pray. Kahit na marami siyang gagawin, gumising siya ng maagang maaga upang magdasal. In Jesus, we learn that we become effective in our works if we draw our strength and power from God. Many times when we have many things to do, the first thing that we give up is prayer. Marami akong gagawin, busy ang maghapon ko, kaya ang unang nakakalimutang gawin o ang unang hindi na ginagawa ay ang magdasal. But Jesus, despite the many things that He did, would always find time for prayer. For it is in prayer that Jesus derived His power and strength. It is in prayer that Jesus becomes effective in the things that He did. My dear brothers and sisters, like Samuel and like Jesus, let us also discover the importance of our connection to God, especially in prayer. Today, I am sure all of us will speak to different people. If you want, your, if you want people to listen to your words, then listen first to God. I am sure today all of us will do many things. If you want your actions to be effective, then pray first to God. These, my dear brothers and sisters, are the secrets to powerful words and efficient work. Please then, like the disciple, like the like the people who brought to Jesus all who were sick or possessed by demons. We commend to our Heavenly Father all who are filled with pain and sorrow and in need of healing love. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may always rely on the Lord in trials and difficulties. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the Lord 
may give hope and encouragement to the starving people of the world, especially those who are unjustly deprived of food, clothing, or freedom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. That those who suffer from depression and anxiety may always find in Christ a sure anchor and refuge. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those suffering through illness and who find life an intolerable burden may see Jesus in their trials. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the dead and those who mourn their loss may find hope and comfort in the resurrection of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We remember the people we promised to pray for and the intentions offered in this Mass. Almighty Father, watch over your family. Protect us and keep us in your care, for all our hope is in you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, the gifts we present to you as we venerate Our Lady of Guadalupe, and grant that this sacrifice may strengthen us to fulfill your commandments as true children of the Virgin Mary, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name in veneration of the, of the blessed ever-Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs, in humble praise as we acclaim holy holy holy, holy lord god, god of hosts heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest please kneel you are holy indeed o lord the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, 
by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Jose our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Juan Diego, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Lord God, may the body and blood of your Son, which we receive in this sacrament, reconcile us always in your love. And may we who rejoice in our Lady of Guadalupe live united and at peace in this world until the day of the Lord dawns in glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. We invite you to the devotional Mass in honor of Our Lady of Guadalupe this afternoon at 12.10. And before the Mass, there will be a novena to the Our Lady of Guadalupe. This will be through our uh, Facebook, uh, Facebook and YouTube channel. We also invite you this evening to the Healing Rosary for the World, which will be hosted by St. Michael the Archangel Parish in Bacoor, Cavite. 
and we will pray the Holy Rosary in front of the image of the Nuestra Señora del Santísimo Rosario de Bacoor. And so once again, we invite you to gather as a family and as a community, and together let us implore the maternal help and intercession of Our Lady. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Yeah.